a rapid-fire history of one of the craziest conspiracy theories of all time, QAnon. I'm Brian Dunning, and you're watching In Fact. Welcome to the show that brings you the real facts behind popular myths. By now, you've probably heard that QAnon is a far-right populist conspiracy theory in which a global cabal of prominent Democrats, Hollywood celebrities, and Jewish bankers secretly comprise a deep state secret government, which on the side also runs a worldwide pedophilia ring for their own amusement. In the QAnon fictional universe, then-President Donald Trump was the only one heroic and powerful enough to save the world through mass indictments and arrests of Democrats. Well, obviously, none of that ever happened. So if all of this was fiction from the beginning, what was its source? In October 2017, someone began posting on anonymous internet message boards, calling himself Q Clearance Patriot. Q clearance being a security clearance level at the Department of Energy. Q claimed to be an insider in the Trump administration and for years posted predictions of mass arrests of Democrats. Though none of the anonymous internet trolls' predictions ever came true, many Trump supporters nevertheless rallied around him and adopted him as a sort of messiah. Now, obviously, it's not credible that an insider in Trump's inner circle would have leaked these sensitive releases of classified information in secret behind the administration's back. That would have been treasonous. So the QAnon conspiracy must assume that Q was making these internet posts with the full knowledge and consent of the government. Thus, it follows that the Trump administration determined that announcing tomorrow's indictments was best and anonymous postings to message boards best known for pornography, racism, and assorted illegal content was the most appropriate channel to make these presidential announcements. So how can ordinarily smart people believe something so obviously irrational as QAnon? Now, a lot of academic research has been funneled into figuring this out. In recent decades, globalization has led many people to feel disenfranchised and unrepresented, people who had grown accustomed to feeling safely entrenched in predictable, homogenous, traditional communities. Sociological studies tell us that the less we feel in control of our own lives, the more likely we are to believe there's a conspiracy against us and to embrace anything that promises to fight that conspiracy. Q happened to appear just at the right moment when millions of Americans felt their accustomed way of life was under fire, and their wounds were fresh from having eight years of progressive values wash over them during the Obama administration. Q was the savior they sought. And that's QAnon in three minutes. I'm Brian Dunning, and this has been In Fact. In Fact is made possible by financial support from viewers like you please visit infactvideo.com.